beautiful, easy way. That's what it's about. Maintaining your energy levels so you can answer those calls and giving up all of these sorts of behaviors. Surfer and the Transurfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia, guys, and this is Transurfing TV, y'all. And today on Transurfing TV, let it take you. Oh my god, this is kind of like a flow lesson, alternatives flow, outer intention, letting go of the grip, right? Letting go of your grip of control and all that comes with that you letting go and letting it just sort of take you i have been on an incredible journey myself for a number of years and i would say that if you all consider me now the queen of reality transurfing prior to reality transurfing i probably would have been considered the queen of inner intention <laughs> i used inner intention for everything. And I was definitely this character here, right? The character that was trying to control the script, doubting, worrying, working from ego, stressing, dreading if I didn't see my, if I didn't see my result, right? Overly strategizing, arguing, seriousness, not listening to my world. It's all on me thinking gripping my freaking reality by the throat. That is exactly what I used to do. And I think this is why I have excelled so much in using this knowledge and really taking it and being able to apply it to my life practically in almost every single aspect of my reality is because I did things so hard in the past. I was so inner intention. I was so much control. I was so much gripping that I could actually see exactly now what I had created as a result of this mindset, of these types of behaviors. And I woke up, I see myself, I see my reality. I see exactly the mess I had gotten myself into via this sort of junk here. And I was able, have been able, and still, still doing it, switching over to a completely different modus operandi that is bringing me some things that I never in my wildest dreams would have believed were for me in my life. And I am going to get into, when I break this down for you guys, what happens when you fully switch over. It's a little bit strange because right now, I almost feel as though sometimes my thoughts and actions aren't my own. And I know that probably sounds weird, like, God, I don't want that to happen to me. But there's something extremely liberating in letting it take you. And I don't know exactly what the it is here. I've had some thoughts on it. If it's a script, if it's really just developing a hardcore connection with the world around me, the alternative space, and letting the alternative space and the alternatives flow and outer intention decide my actions and even at times like my thoughts, because here's the thing, like I've talked about this a little bit. I don't think I've ever talked about it as publicly as I'm going to do right now, but me doing these videos, I draw a few little references or words or a picture on the whiteboard to help trigger something internally that I can speak on. But other than that, I'm really just turning on the camera and I'm just letting it come through me. It's almost like I'm not even in control at all. 
And there are times when I go to put the videos in the, into the Dropbox and I'll watch them, make sure the audio was fine, make sure that it didn't cut off or something goofy didn't happen. And I'm watching myself talk and I'm listening to myself and I have absolutely no recollection of any of the things that I've said. It's like, I almost j just go on automatic and it's just flowing through me, right? It, the, the information, the knowledge, I'm just the vessel. I'm just the delivery vehicle. I'm not creating any of this in my mind. So letting it flow through you in whatever capacity, as we will get into more in a moment, is really about you setting your intention, your intention being a product of pure heart and mind coordination, and then sort of backing up off your typical way of doing things and letting the reality transurfing system go to work in helping you to achieve your goal, your intention. And again, I have to show up for the action, but I'm not really deciding of it, deciding the action anymore. I'm not making any plans. I'm not doing anything overtly. I am simply answering the calls when they come to me and showing up and being willing to step outside of my comfort zone out of that box of, you know, limiting beliefs and answer the call, right? So I'm just letting it take me and you can do this. You can do this with anything, anything that you want, any way that you want to live, any profession you want to have, any type of situation you want to you want to experience in your reality set the intention as long as it's in line with something that both your heart and your mind are in agreement over your world is going to help you facilitate your progress towards that intention and it is an absolute miracle if you let it happen. And if you believe that it is an option for you, again, I never in my wildest dreams in the past would have believed that this is an option for me. As soon as I set my intention, I realized it was an option for me. And I stepped back and let the system go to work. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Before I get into this, Remember to like this video, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and join us on the Facebook group, International Transserving Institute Facebook group, and Teachable, two Teachable courses now, Reality 2.0 and Tufty 2.0, and they are absolutely lit. We have an exclusive Facebook group for help and support via moi. If you would like to join, I am in there and I answer every single question that people have about the course or the material in the course. So join if you are so compelled to do so. Okay, so let it take you. God, I wish you guys could have seen me like 10 years ago. I was a real piece of work because I was convinced that I was gonna be successful and my success was going to come via my hustling and my grinding. And this is where, you know, this whole culture with hustling and all of these, I mean, being an entrepreneur right now is so trendy. It's such a hot topic. Everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Everybody wants to, you know, do their own thing. And a lot of these videos that I do are absolutely geared towards assisting you in developing the tools to do this, to have this life, to create the side hustle, to leave your nine to five and forge your own path, creating your own pro product, doing your own thing, right? But it's highly advisable that you do it a specific way. You do it this way and not this way. What's this way? This way is, you know, you flowing, you being in an active state of alternatives flow, letting go, approaching the, approaching the endeavor with calmness, 
um, thinking what's mine is mine. I don't have to fight for it. There's nothing to fight for. What's mine is mine. I simply have to go to the post box and take it like retrieving a piece of mail, right? You don't question if you go to the post box, but the piece of mail is gonna get there or is gonna be there. You know it's there, right? So this, this thinking of, oh, I gotta do something to prove that it's mine or I gotta fight for what's mine. No, what's yours is yours. What's yours is yours. Uh, uh, approaching your reality from a place of playfulness, right? Not taking things seriously, letting the plan unfold, allowing your world to work through you, right? Not you pushing against your world, trying to see results and make things happen, listening to your world, working with outer intention and adopting the, adopting the ability to just be like, so be it. If something is not going to work in a specific way, so be it. There's another way, right? If something is seemingly playing out against my intentions, so be it. If it wasn't meant to work, so be it. And just allowing your world to sort of dictate to you how you're going to move through your reality towards your intentions. And I know this is such a different way of thinking and it can be a little bit unnerving for people because a lot of people I think do not trust their world, right? So here's the thing about not trusting your world. When I was in my pre-transurfing reality and I was this character, you know, controlling and gripping and stressing and hustling and grinding and doubting and working from ego and all of that stuff. I had absolutely no trust in my world, but the reason that I didn't have any trust in my world, and when I mean I didn't have any trust in my world, that simply means that if I wanted to achieve a result, I felt as though I needed to do something. It's not that I mistrusted my world, it's that there was no trust. I didn't understand the value of allowing your world to do the heavy lifting and you just show up for the call. I had no concept of this at all. But here's the thing, once you can just in a very, very small way see some sort of support from your external environment, this is you tuning your frequency to outer intention. And in me doing this in a small way at first, and this came from maybe just a very simple action of like, if something wasn't going because uh, maybe I was forcing it too hard or something just wasn't working out, that I just backed off it, right? That I just backed off it and I let my world present to me the next opportunity to do the thing that I needed to do in order to facilitate the change that would get me on the path to my goal. And this small action, and Vadim Zeeland talks about it in the book, you know, he said the mo one of the most challenging things to do is to just like, just wait in a moment of, of, of pause, to just pause and not try to always do when you feel compelled to do something. And again, being an entrepreneur, this is wildly like, this is, this is, this is, this is crazy talk because as we are shown from our external environment, social media, all of this stuff that you have to constantly be in action. You have to constantly be moving. You have to constantly be pushing. So in order sometimes to gain an opportunity for advancement that's real and powerful and will take you, stop doing this stuff right? Stop doing this stuff because this is almost like, this is almost a repellent. Well, not almost. It is a repellent. This is absolutely a repellent for outer intention. So what I like to say is this, and this is, this is a great way to move, switch your perspective over a little bit. When you are in this mode, 
your brain is going on overdrive, right? You're consumed by your thoughts. This is you being sucked in to your inner screen. When you are in this mode, doing any of these things, not just all of them, but any of them, if you're doubting, if you're arguing with somebody about something that you want, if you're not listening to your world, maybe showing you some different ways to achieve your intention, if you're stressing, if you're doing any of these things, you are going to be closed off to outer intention. You have essentially put a sign up on your door saying out to lunch, right? Out to lunch, don't come here, outer intention. So checking yourself in any of these states and allowing yourself a moment to simply pause and wait for your world to deliver to you Something is a sign, an opportunity, something to move on, right? Something to inspire some kind of action or, 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 or ideas or something. It's not going to come to you in any of this, any, any of this state of being. So let's talk about this one a little more. This is so far from who I used to be, it's almost shocking. Like I think now of the, the, the polarity between this version of me and this version of me, and I can't believe that this is even possible, but really how I have switched over from, <laughs> from this version to this version is simply acknowledging that when I'm doing this, I don't achieve the results that are actually valuable or meaningful. When I do this, all sorts of amazing things come in my direction that are even better than I could have achieved by my, my highest expectations of myself doing any of this stuff. It's absolutely mind blowing. So what does some of the, what, what do some of these things mean exactly? Well, flow, obviously, like I said, um, me doing these videos. This is me being in a state of flow. When I was trying to film videos initially, and you can go back and take a look at some of the older videos, this was me trying to film a video in, in this state. When I'm in this state now, which has been a practice over time, flow is just I turn the camera on and I just let it go. I don't think, oh, well, are they going to like it? Or, oh, what if it doesn't work? Or stressing out about my you know, my, my topic or, or taking it seriously over strategizing a lesson, right? This is all going to translate to something you guys probably aren't going to be interested in when I just let go and I let it flow through me, the information, the knowledge, whatever it is that I need to transmit to y'all just kind of comes and it goes directly to you, right? I don't have to actually do anything. This is truly me just letting go and letting it take me. I, you know, being in a state of calmness, again, being calm, there's a frequency there that's like a magnet for outer intention, and it's amazing. The more calm I can remain in my day, the more I can you know, approach whatever it is that I'm doing from a place of, of, of playfulness and kind of giving in to what my world has in store for me, man, this is like, this is like, Reality lubricant, right? Reality lubricant. <laughs> so letting the plan unfold again, just letting it happen the way, the easy, the, the path of least resistance. This is the best way of putting it. World working through you, uh, being redundant at this point. This is the world working through me. And I really do wholeheartedly believe that whatever it is, that I choose right now for myself, that I will be successful in my endeavor because I understand the value of letting my world work through me, right? As long as my heart says yes and my mind says yes, it's all good, it's all going to happen. Listening to your world. Okay, this right here, if you're doing any of these things, trying to accomplish anything, a relationship thing, a professional thing, a lifestyle thing, whatever it is you want in your life. If, if, if you're doing any of this, 
you are missing your world giving you some guiding signs to that path of least resistance. So back up off your world and your world will absolutely start talking to you. And of course, again, what it brings is outer intention. And this is exactly what is needed to really propel yourself to that version of reality that you want to experience. Getting there with inner intention, you know, it's, it's just like you're, you're, you're that hamster running on the wheel, never really getting anywhere, sort of chasing that dangling carrot. The outer intention of your world is going to bring much more than you could ever possibly drum up on your own with your own thoughts and your own actions. This is like fuel, right? Outer intention is the fuel to really get your fire lit. So question in closing, do you feel as though you're doing more of this? Do you feel as though you are in this mode? Are you in the state of letting your world take you and work through you? And do you believe that if you can lessen your grip of control, right? Letting your reality <laughs> go of holding it by the throat. Do you believe that if you can do this, you can get to your destination in a much more simplistic and beautiful, easy way? That's what it's about maintaining your energy levels so you can answer those calls and giving up all of these sorts of behaviors that are energetically ineffective, right? So let me know your thoughts on this video, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.